In this video, we are going to talk about the text tool in Adobe XD, its features and functions and where can you find it. So if I take you to Adobe XD, text tool is located right here. But before we use it, let's quickly select all of our shapes, hit delete on a keyboard and then click right here on the text tool. You can use T um, on Mac and PC. So when I click right here and type something, so for example, this is our title. And I can change right here. So this is the font family. So I can go with this one, for example. And this is the font size. So I can go with 70, for example. This is the font weight. So depending of the font you have chosen, you're going to have more or less of these font weights. So for example, I can go with black in this particular case. And I can turn back on the grid, if you remember, from the previous lessons. And I can click right here just to lower the opacity of these columns, just so that you can see what's going on. So I can actually align it to our grid. Next, I can hit Control D to duplicate it. I can move it down. And for this one, what I want to do is use a regular or light even better. Yeah, let's go with regular just so that you can see it better. Let's go with 36, something like that. And basically what I want to show you at this point is when you hold your shift key, and when you're moving, you can see these numbers changing. This is basically the distance in pixels between these two. You can also hold Alt or Option and simply hover on the element just to see the distance between these two. What we have right here is we have character spacing. So if we click and increase this, you can see that the spacing between your characters is changing. What we have next is line spacing. So if we click right here, then right here and basically let's actually select this control V control V and now select all of them. And then you can see the line spacing, what it does, basically the distance between your lines of text. And finally, what we have right here, let's go back to the original one. What we have right here is the paragraph spacing. So when you turn your text into paragraph, you can set the spacing of your paragraph, obviously that way. What we have here is the point text because we have just one point and you can click on this dot right here to increase or decrease the size of your text if you want to. This is your alignment. So left, center or right align. And depending on what you have set, when you start typing, the text is going to go into that direction. Then what we have is auto width, basically adjusting automatically for the width of the text. We have auto height and you can cut the height by clicking this dot when you switch that on. And finally, we have the fixed size. So if I click there, whatever I increase this box, everything is going to be fixed inside of this box of text. If I click right here for the auto height, you can see what that does. So if I start typing, for example, let's actually select this once again and click right here. You can see that the uh, height is automatically changing to adapt and accommodate my text. And finally, if I click right here to change it back to auto width, you can see what it does. So basically now when I start typing, you can see that it increases in width like so. So basically those are your main differences for your text. And what I want to show you here is all uppercase all lowercase, title case. So uh, the first letter of each word is going to be big. This is the superscript. So if I type in number two right here, select it and then select my superscript, you can see what it does. So if I zoom in just a little bit closer, next, if I select it right here, you have subscript. So it's going to basically just move this down. If I select them all, what you can see right here is the underline and finally strike through if that's something that you want to do. So let me quickly remove this from here. And what I want to show you lastly is the opacity. So it works exactly the same as for all of the shape layers. And finally, we have fill and border for your text. We have inner drop shadow and background blur. So basically all of these settings as for uh, your shapes, as for your images, as for all of those things. So basically that's it for the text. You can see how easy it is to use and uh, all of the functions that you have inside of Adobe XD. And I'm going to show you some different things a bit later in this class when it comes to text and editing the text. In the next video, we are going to cover libraries. So I'll see you there.